a lot of industry drama going on right now between Shine and Funk Flex. Funk Master Flex pretty much uh, called him a bozo, called Shine a bozo. Basically, Funk Master Flex to Shine, you're a lying bozo about being Diddy's uh, shooting scapegoat. So, word on the street, if you haven't been living under a rock, is that rapper Shine uh, basically did time and Diddy pretty much didn't help him during that situation. And um, Funk Flex is basically trying to set the record straight by making the public know that Shine is lying about everything. So it goes on and it says, Shine completely distanced himself from the Diddy pass after the bad boy mogul got arrested last month. And it was all one big phony act, according to Funk Flex. So Funk Master Flex is basically going to flip out. Let's listen to the tape. Hear exactly what he had to say. Let's play the tape for you. Let's go. And a problem with the dudes he had in the club, not Puff. So I want to make sure, because this has been bothering me for weeks. So when somebody tries to say they the, they the scapegoat, or they're the like they were used. Back it up, Chester. Trump, it's been bothering me. And I'm going to keep it a book. Sean, I, I love you, bro. And I know what you've been through. No, I don't. But you're a liar. You're a stone cold faced liar, Shine. Wow. First of all, you remember when D Rock had to beat you up at that studio because you were feeling yourself? You lucky you signed the bad boy. Because if you did not sign the bad boy and you signed the death jam or anywhere else, they were going to pound you out. Like the day they beat you up at that studio. Sean, you can't lie with me around, bro. And let me tell you something else, Sean. If you hated Puff so much, when he got the key to the city, you were in the trailer. Sucker. You're a sucker. I can't stand you. You got no guts. You went to jail because you took out your guns. Because you were scared to get punched in the face by some dudes that you knew that were your people that you jerked. You jerked them because you were signed to them first, Sean. Sean, you were signed to those dudes first. I am going to expose you, Sean. Because you're a liar. said a mouthful bro man he even went down to even say that that wasn't even his original voice that he's a goofball and whatnot now when i first heard a shine i remember i was on flatbush we was out hanging out and somebody had brought a tape and it was like yo you got to check this out fam and they played the tape and i ain't gonna lie i thought it was biggie because the voice sounded just like Biggie. And um, I was like, whoever that is, somebody going to sign him. And this was way before Bad Boy had him. Way before Diddy got connected with Shine. We been, we been knew about Shine way in advance. You know what I'm saying? Probably about a year and a half before Shine 
got signed uh, to Bad Boy. But um, man, that was something else. Definitely something else. But now, Funk Flex is taking a lot of shots at uh, Shine and um, saying he's a liar, he's this, he's that. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot to digest. But remember, Funk Flex is the same one that was taken up for, uh, I believe it's uh, Mr. C, when he had those allegations, well, not even allegations, the dude was literally out there uh, messing with trannies, or whatever the case is, and Funk Flex was defending him. So, in my opinion, Funk Flex is not even in no position to even try to diss Shine when he was endorsing a dude that was messing around with dudes low key. So at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is, man. But let me read more of what's going on with this situation. It says the Hot 97 radio vet recently admitted he's been stewing over Shine's claim that he was the fall guy in the infamous 1999 shoot uh, nightclub shooting that sent him to prison for eight years before being deported to Belize. And this is pretty much what Shine's story. Shine basically reported that Diddy basically abandoned him right after the situation. But Funk Flex is saying, nah, it's a whole different story that you lied about the whole thing to the public that it had nothing to do with Diddy. And it's like you're blaming Diddy for being the fall guy. You know what I mean? Uh, it says Shine is currently promoting his upcoming documentary, The Honorable Shine. But Funk Flex says he's capping and raked him through the coals on the airwaves. And it's interesting because Funk Flex used his platform knowing good and well that he's gonna reach a lot of people. And, and it could be a publicity stunt where he's trying to stop uh, Shine from actually shining <laughs> with his documentary. Um, it says Funk Flex started his newest rant claiming to have loved, have love for Shine but soon burned down his house using plenty of ether. I don't know what people are talking about. Shine was the was the streets. He was a punk. And this is what Funk Flex is saying. Now, a lot of y'all got to understand how love bombing work where people say how much they love you. And then it's like once they say they love you, they start, they start ripping you up into pieces. And it's like, man, he started off by saying, I love you. And then he started talking a load of garbage about the man. Let me hear it again. Let me go back to the tapes. See what he said up here. Because it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy to hear this. Weeks. So when somebody tries to say they the, they the scapegoat. Or the, they, like they were used. Trance has been bothering me. And I'm going to keep it a buck. Sean, I, I love you, bro. They always say they love you before they start tearing you down. But what's interesting is why is why is Funk Flex defending Diddy? Because he probably was at them parties, fam. And I know what you've been through. No, I don't. But you're a liar. This is why when people say they love me or they say they rock with me, I don't take that to heart, fam, because a lot of times people will say that and then they turn against you. You're a stone face now in order for him to call him a liar he got to bring receipts so it's basically his word versus shine word so let's play it now he said somebody named d rock or whatever the case beat up shine at a studio and whatnot and um this just goes to show like how he got that information and What's really going on and why he throwing it in his face? You lucky you signed the bad boy. Because if you did not sign the bad boy and you signed the death jam or anywhere else, they were going to pound you out like the day they beat you up at that studio. Sean, you can't lie with me around, bro. And I'm going to tell you something else, Sean. If you hated Buff so much when he got the key to the city, you were in the trailer. But they took back the key to the city So like it didn't make no sense Like Diddy had all his keys taken away The Miami Beach key The New York key All them keys been taken away But now it's like you bringing stuff up To try to make it seem like if the man was jealous and whatnot. 
You're a sucker. I can't stand you. You got no. When people say they can't stand you, man, that's coming from a place of extreme hate. Funk Flex never had no love for Shine, bro. Guts. You went to jail because you took out your gun because you were scared to get punched in the face by some dudes that you knew that were your people that you jerked. So let me get this straight. You're saying he took out his gun because he was scared because he got punched in the face because he was scared of some dudes. If a bunch of dudes came to a man to beat him up and you got a gun, you gonna fight all of these dudes or you gonna pull out your gun? So I, I don't get how is that making it seem like he's scared. It's not scared. If, if I got a gun on me and, and you roll up on me because you wanna fight, I'm putting you in a box. Just like that, it ain't gonna be no fight. I'm putting you in a box if I got a burner on me. You know, it is what it is. Let's go. You jerked them because you were signed to them first, Sean. I don't know about any of that, but hey, that's his view. Let's go. Sean, you were signed to those dudes first. I am going to expose you, Sean. So Funk Flex said he's going to expose Sean. So now we're going to have to stay tuned, find out exactly what's going on to see if he got more receipts on what's going on out here. Because you're a liar. See, he said, including him. He said back then he wanted to spit in Shine's face. So how he start off the video, the audio by saying he got love for Shine. That's why I'm saying you can't really trust nobody in the industry. He said the man's record was whack. Come on, man. <laughs> Now he said that's not his natural voice regardless 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 if it's his natural voice or not the dude sounded like biggie and when biggie died there was a void in the industry and everybody gravitated towards shine when he dropped his first joint you know what i mean you might feel he copied biggie a lot of rappers copy other rappers. A lot of rappers sound like other rappers. Sometimes you can have a rapper that sound like another rapper and their music sounds dope. It sounds better. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You were a goofball. <laughs> you went to jail because you were scared. He went to jail because he was scared? Come on, man. That doesn't make no sense, bro. He said he went to jail because he was scared has nothing to do with being scared man if you feel your life is in danger your job is to protect yourself so it says shine is currently promoting his upcoming documentary the honorable shine but funk flex says he's capping and raked him through the coals on the airwaves funk flex started his newest rant claiming to have loved for shine but soon burned down his house uh using plenty of ether I don't know what people are talking about. Shine was the street. It's the streets. He was a punk. Anytime a man is saying another man is a punk, you got to always question that because he's doing that to try to humiliate him in the public. It says, so all of that street talk, you don't ever come my way with that. Puff had to keep people off of you from beating you to death. So basically, Funk Flex is protecting and promoting uh, Diddy at this point. So you gotta really keep your eyes on Funk Flex because he always been, in my opinion, um, somebody that can't be trusted when you really think about it. So uh, it is what it is, guys. Let me see what else we got. According to Funk Flex, 
expertise, Shine pulled out his gun in the nightclub because he was too scared to face the man accosting him and Diddy after uh, that's gangsta rapper backdoored his company in order to sign with Bad Boy Records. Um, Flex says Shine signed with Diddy and immediately was forced to eat a platter of knuckle sandwiches courtesy of Biggie's homeboy, uh, Damien D-Rock Butler, who for coming into the fold with his nose up high. So basically, they're jealous that uh, Shine came to Bad Boy uh, feeling himself. It's nothing wrong with feeling yourself. If you feel you official and you coming in, what's the point? It's like people were jealous of Shine. If you really think about it, they were jealous because at the end of the day, he sounded like Biggie. He had something to offer the industry. He got caught up with the law and did some time. If he didn't do no time, he would have probably been hot in the streets. He would have probably been doing other things, but he changed his life. He changed his life around and that's good. And he he's receiving a lot of hate. So it says Shine burst onto the scene in 2000 claiming Brooklyn with a vocal drawl similar to Biggie's uh, whose death was still lingering in the hip hop community. That's just like I said, in the early 2000s, that's when he pretty much came in. We heard about him in like 1999, 1999, 1998. That's when we pretty much heard Shine for the first time. And I'm telling you, when we first heard it, I thought it was like some old tape of Biggie that was never released. I didn't know who that was. They was like, yo, uh, this is another dude that's coming up in the game. And I'm like, yo, who? that's Biggie. They was like, nah, that's not Biggie, man. It's a dude named Shine. I was like, oh, snap, yo, this is dope. So it, it's definitely, when he definitely came out, there was a void in the community due to Biggie's death. And people embraced Shine, fam. And uh, he received a lot of hate. It says the Honorable Shine features Kevin Lyles and other executives claiming Shine was the hottest rapper free agent at the time. But Fluck, uh, Flex remembers things differently. He wanted to spit in Shine's face. Now, see, a lot of y'all might, no, no, might not know the history, but when Shine came in, he definitely was talked about. A lot of y'all probably wasn't even born. Some of you younger cats, you probably just was born. So you don't even know the history. Um, he may not have been like a Biggie Smalls, but he definitely was ringing bells and had like an interest in the people. Um, he says Diddy begged him to play Shine's record at first and everyone in the dock felt the same way. The Belizean politician will get to tell his side of the story when the Honorable Shine premieres on November 18th. So on November 18th, Shine is supposed to drop a documentary, I guess, detailing all of the issues and all of the things that he had to endure with Diddy. And he may as well feature uh, Funk Flex in it, being that Funk Flex is talking crap about him. I wouldn't be surprised if the editors actually add him into the, docu the documentary. So uh, it's just something to think about. And, um, you know, leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the video. Um, is Funk Flex wrong? Um, do you believe Funk Flex is fake? What are your thoughts on the situation? Are you rocking with Shine in this situation? Um, you be the judge, fam. Let me know in the comments, fam. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.